Hi, hello, good morning. Bye. Boring. <laughs> so in today's video, we are going to learn some fun and different expressions to greet someone, say bye, some interesting conversation starters and closing sentence. And you can use these in your daily English casual conversation to sound like an advanced English speaker. So let's get going. Hey, this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat. So from today, you will never use these ordinary expressions. And I promise you that by the end of this video, you will sound like a natural English speaker with an advanced English vocabulary. At number one is hi, hello. Hi or hello can lead to a dead end in conversations. People just don't know what to say beyond that. Instead, how about we say, hey there. This is a fresh and exciting way to greet someone. Hey there. What's up? This is my go-to phrase. It's casual and it always invites a response. What's up sounds cool with a fist bump or a high five. What's poppin? This is a cool American expression to ask. What's up? You can also say what's crackin? What's poppin or what's crackin? Ahoy mates. This is sailor talk. But you can use it with your friends to beat the blues. Ahoy, Mates! What's the good word? Another way to ask what's been going on. What's the good word? Hey, buddy! This is a great one when you're meeting friends, both girls and boys. Shorten this to hey, bud. Hello, fellows. You can use this phrase to say hi to a whole group of people. Hello, fellows. Howdy! This was the signature phrase of cowboys, but it's like saying hello in casual conversation. Howdy, mate. Bonjour. Bonjour means hello in French, but it has become a very common phrase with English speakers too. If you want to sound elegant, then bonjour is the word for you. What a pleasant surprise! If you bump into someone at a mall or movies and you didn't expect to see them there, you can say, what a pleasant surprise! Look who's here! Look what the cat dragged in! This is super informal and it's a way to draw attention to someone who's just entered the room. Look what the cat dragged in! Which of these 11 ways to greet someone was your favorite? Quickly drop a comment below and remember, your body language matters. So next time you meet someone, greet them with a big smile and lots of enthusiasm and use any one of these terms to make a great first impression. Now before we go on to our second English expression, I'd like to give a shout out to Akhila Reddy, who left a wonderful message under our last video, which got 67 likes from you. And if you want a shout out in my next video, leave me a comment below with the hashtag Chet Chatters. At number two is good morning. Good morning is a very sweet word, but it has been overused now. Here are some fun phrases for you to use instead of good morning. Rise and shine. You can use this when you're waking up someone. Rise and shine. Top of the morning to you. This is a more formal greeting. It's commonly used in England. And if you have a morning meeting, it's a great phrase to greet your boss or even your seniors with. Top of the morning to you. What a great day to be outside. If the weather is very pleasant and you've just met someone outdoors, you can start by saying, what a great day to be outside. Nothing to beat the fresh morning air. When you meet someone on a morning walk or a morning jog, Smile at them and say, nothing to beat the fresh morning air. Wakey, wakey, brekkie ready. This is something you can say at home, to your family or even to your younger sibling. It gives off the perfect lazy Sunday vibe. This is also my favorite line. Wakey, wakey. It's a good day to be up and about. Another phrase of morning positivity. It's a good day to be up and about. The sun's up and so are you. This is a compliment to everyone who wakes up early with the rising sun and gets cracking. The sun's up and so are you. Morning! If you just can't seem to come out of the good morning habit, then just shorten it to a more friendly morning. And now tell me which of these eight expressions was your favorite one. At number three are conversation starters. These are some phrases that will get the conversation going. What's new with you? If someone replies same old, you can volunteer to tell them what's new with you instead. 
what have you been up to lately? This is a good way to start a conversation. Be prepared to talk about the latest topics and news. Lockdown is doing you good. What have you been up to all this while? If the friend you've met after a long time looks good, tell them lockdown is doing you good. Everyone likes to hear a compliment and then ask them what they've been up to. How are things at home? Or how are things at the office? Ask specific questions that will get a specific response. And this will make for interesting conversations. Start with what you have in common. I met your mother yesterday or I have the same bag as you. What's common is easy to talk about. The weather, a foolproof way to make conversation with strangers. The days are getting warmer or rains are about to start or the evenings have been nippy off late. Now, I want you to leave me a comment below with your favorite conversation starter line. And if you're looking for alternate phrases for how are you, I'm fine, okay, very nice, I think, then I will drop a line to our video in the description box below. At number four is closing conversation. When you need to leave and you don't just want to suddenly say bye, you can say one of these lines. This was so much fun. We should do this more often. If you've had a lunch or a get together that you've enjoyed, I had a wonderful time or I enjoyed this very much. Thank you for the lovely afternoon or evening based on whatever time of the day it is. This was so refreshing. This is something you can say to a friend whose conversations always light up your mood. Thank you for your time. This is used in a more formal setting when you talk to a senior or a reputed person. This has left me with so much to think about. Or thank you for this information. This can be a closing statement for an interview or a conversation with an expert who taught you something you didn't know. Thank you so much for calling when you feel like ending a long phone conversation. Let's catch up again soon. It's always good to end with future plans. And at number five is bye. All's well that ends well, but bye can be boring as hell. In English, we want to get ahead, so let's say these words instead. See you later, alligator. A cool, funny phrase to say to your friends. They might reply with, after a while, crocodile. Or, take care, polar bear. I just love these animal bye-byes. Toodles. This is a cutesy British way of saying bye-bye. Toodles. Adios, amigos. This one means goodbye friends and it's Spanish and it sounds great. Ciao, the Italian word for bye. Ciao, very classy. See you soon. This one shows that you're looking forward to meeting the person again. You can also say until next time or bye for now. These are polite ways of saying, hey, I need to leave, but I look forward to catching up with you again. While texting, bye for now often gets shortened to BFN. Cheerio. This is cheerful and youthful. Cheerio. Take care or hang in there. What better way to end a conversation than a heartfelt message? Stay well, especially an important ending in a pandemic age. Now do leave me a comment below telling me which of these was your favorite. And adios amigos, stay well and see you later alligator. And of course, by the way, happy learning.